Hey guys, it's Autumn Guard, and today we're going to check out Doubler 2 by a company called Voclia. This software allows you to control MIDI information with your voice. Voclia was super awesome and sponsored this video today, giving me this Doubler 2 microphone. You connect this via USB, which it does come with the cable. However, the latest update allows you to use any microphone with the software. So I'll definitely be testing that out in this video. For now, I'm gonna be using the original Doubler USB mic to show you guys how this all works, what you can do with it. I can already tell you guys, this software is quite impressive. You can use your voice to create drums, melodies, and even chord progressions. Chord progressions is something I've always struggled with, so I'm really curious to see how exactly this is gonna work via my voice. So without further ado, let's get into this. All right, so let me show you how it works. You open up Doubler 2 and it asks you to create a profile. As you can see, I already have a profile here created called Drums. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new profile. So let's go ahead and click that. And up here you see that we have Play, Train, key chords and assign. So you go to this little plus sign right here under trigger and this is basically how you create a drum rack. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that as a bass drum and then I'm gonna add the snare there, a closed hi-hat. I'm gonna stick to three triggers right now because I'm new at this, I'm still practicing. So now that we've added our triggers, now we get to train the doubler input. So now I'm gonna record some takes and use a sound that I want to trigger the bass drum with. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Ba, 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 ba. And right now I'm keeping just inbuilt audio on, which means you're only gonna hear the audio that's coming from the doubler two. But if you have this MIDI out turned on at the same time, you can also hear the sound from your DAW, or if you just turn this off, you'll just hear the sound that's coming from your DAW. For now, let's just hear the sounds on the doubler two. Boom, ba, boom, boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, boom, ba, boom, ba, <laughs> ah, boom, ba. It's a little bit of a learning curve, but it's super fun. You can also adjust the sensitivity here. Boom, 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 boom. The sensitivity right here kind of works for me. <laughs> Another thing that's really cool about this is you can use this to play notes. The key restriction really helps keep the notes that you're singing in key. And it's got tons of suggested scales that you could choose from, C major, A minor, D Dorian. And this is my favorite thing about this whole thing, you guys. You can create chord progressions with your voice. Let me just show you. And I don't wanna hear the sound that's coming from double or two anymore. Like I just don't wanna hear that anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that off and go audio. So now you're only gonna be able to hear the audio from my DAW. Okay, so now I'm going to use it to trigger some cello sounds. And as you can see, it's actually also changing the expression, which is pretty cool. That's so awesome. <laughs> You can actually change the preset to pop simple or pop advanced, and it's just gonna change the chords. Try pop advanced. You can take out the root note of the bass line. And you can also change the voicing. can also change the octaves. Oh, oh, oh. 
I can't get over how awesome this is. There's a ton of scales you can actually choose from, which is awesome. And remember, the doubler two is also supposed to work with any microphone, not just the doubler USB mic. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it out with the Shure SM7B and see how it goes. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is calibrate your microphone. This process is very straightforward and easy, so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip right through this. Okay, so let's try this out now. I'm kind of nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually gonna try a new profile and just see how this goes. This is awesome. <laughs> boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, ba. Okay, so clearly this is working great with my microphone. The fact that you can use doubler two with the microphones that you have at home, that's really cool because then all you need is to get the doubler two software and then bam, if you have a mic audio interface, you're ready to go. Dynamic microphones work the best, so definitely try those out. Okay, so as you can see, I laid down a whole chord progression with my voice. I do go back and do a bit of quantizing, but honestly, this is such a cool way to create chord progressions, especially when you're not so well-versed on music theory. Oh, you can also change the synth preset here. So I think I was on, I don't even know what I was on, but I'm gonna click bass pluck now, because that's probably what I need. Although wobble bass actually looks pretty cool too. Okay, so as you saw, I did have a bit of editing to do, but overall, I'd say this is a really refreshing way to get your ideas down. And I gotta say, the ability to create chord progressions with your voice, that's probably my favorite feature. And by the way, this latest version has overall better performance due to less CPU usage, which is always a good thing. This is definitely a very unique concept, and again, so fun to use. I'm gonna put a link in the description to where you can grab one for yourself if you'd like. It is an affiliate link, it doesn't affect you as a consumer, but it does help out the channel so I can keep creating free content for you guys. I hope this video was informative. I'm gonna go grab some matcha tea and then probably get back to playing with this thing. There's so many melodies and just like ideas that I play in my head all day. So this voice to MIDI concept is game changing. <laughs> Did you know that hitting the like, sub, and bell button makes you a better music producer? It's science, bro. So go ahead and do that, and I will see you guys on the next one.